Hey, Dave Fan here with the Body From Personal Training Fitness Boot Camps. Monday morning quick tip, the psychology of thinking versus doing. And I'm gonna leave a link to this article below in the comments or um, above or below this blog post. So if you're interested in this article, check it out. And the psychology of thinking versus doing is important and it really came to, um, to a head on last week when I was doing a consult with a very, very successful gentleman in his 50s. And he said, you know, we, we were about 30, 45 minutes into the consult and he said, you know, I, I apologize if, if I'm talking a lot, but this is something that I've been thinking about for years, which was, you know, to take action and get in front of a coach and start moving forward towards, you know, losing some weight and feeling better, you know, being his best self. And this is a man who was extremely successful in every facet of his life and has probably been conditioning himself to take action towards his goals, probably from his early teens to, to reach the level of success that he has today. And even he had been thinking about, thinking about getting into shape for not a week or a day or a month, but for a couple of years before he finally was able to pull the trigger and start moving towards his goals. And literally the gentleman, of course, you know, has made great progress, but I know if it can happen to him, it can definitely happen to us. And it does happen to all of us, especially when it comes to weight loss and I'm reaching our fitness goals. And I think there's some shame involved because quite often people think that getting out of shape or being overweight is a, is a moral or a character flaw or laziness or a dilemma like that. When in actuality, it's a, behavioral and a, a psychological trigger problem, just like debt, it can get away from you. And like I always tell or ask people, you know, what's the difference between fit people and unfit people? And it's their habits. It's not a moral or a character difference. It's the difference in the habits that they've established. And the biggest obstacle to establishing new habits is taking that one action instead of just thinking about it and moving towards your goals. And the psychology of thinking versus doing is an excellent article, especially for this Monday. It's a quick little read, it's five minutes, and the, it's by Thomas Obong, and he's an entrepreneur, and he's definitely very good at conditioning people to take action in their business, and can carry over to weight loss and fitness. And he has four points in this article that I want you to be sure to pay attention to. And it opens with a quote from John F. Kennedy, which is super important, that there are risks and costs to a program of action. There's always risk to every action, but they are far less than the long range risks and costs of comfortable inaction. And that's true. I mean, getting into shape and taking that, pulling that trigger and jumping into a program or walking around the block is far less risky than high blood pressure, joint problems, riding a scooter at Walmart, not being able to chase your grandkids, an early death. Those are real risks to inaction. And so he has four points in this. And the very first one is, can, is defining the two systems. We have a doing system, which is carrying out a series of tasks, and a thinking system, which is reflecting on which tasks should be carried out. Thinking in this context is different from introspection. Making time to think about your thinking is one thing. But you can focus more on doing while retaining your motivation for thinking. People get excited about a lot of ideas about getting into shape, but unfortunately, they easily begin pushing them further back on their to-do list. And that's one thing that happens when people are looking to get into shape is that they start going, well, you know, and then I got childcare and this and that. And the more they think about it, they start pushing it back. And a um, psychologist named Ari Krugonski and Tori Higgins and their colleagues suggest that we have two complementary motivational systems, the thinking system and the doing system. And generally, we're only capable of doing using one at a time. And if you focus more on the thinking system, you will get caught up in a life of inaction. That's where you start thinking, well, I've got this and this and this. And so the key is to taking action. Like Stephen Pressfield says in Do the Work, don't think, act. We can always revise and revisit once we've acted, but we can accomplish nothing until we act. And that's why I push and push and push for you to take action, especially on a Monday. And it's one simple thing. And his next point is to what you do defines who you are. Do what you should be a doer. And that's where you start changing who you are. And of course, doing involves risk, but there's only one way to make progress. And that's 
by taking that one action and then making adjustments as you go along. And I always kind of convey to people when they're coming in and, you know, they think there's going to be a set program that every, a cookie cutter program that every person can follow that will guarantee their success. And the only guarantee to weight loss and fitness success is showing up because the, the principles of fat loss and eating healthy and exercise are universal, but the application is very individualized because your needs would be much different than a stay at home mom of four or a TCU girl or even a businessman in his fifties. So the, the principles are universal. The application is individual. And like he says, point three is embrace the action habit. It's only through taking action that you can start moving forward. Like he says, if your goal is to write a book, you can do all the research you want. You can look up all the blog posts you want, but at the end of the day, the only way to become a writer is to start writing. And if you're looking to lose weight and to get into shape, reading all the articles you on the internet, thinking about it, talking about it, all of that will carry less weight than one simple action. And the key is thinking about it is more exhausting than doing one thing about it. And the amount of relief that I see with people when they do take that one action and we get them through that first 30 minute workout is a sense of months, even years of this thing running in the back of their mind that they knew would move them forward to the next level in their life and to a better life and they finally take an action it's a look of relief and that they have made a positive step in the right direction and how many how many exercise sessions does it take to get into better shape well one it only takes one and you'll be in better shape than you were when you walked in the door and that's the thing is one simple action and it doesn't have to be joining a 15 month program it can be something as simple as today at lunchtime i'm walking around the block I'm going to bag my lunch instead of eating fast food. I'm going to cut out soft drinks for seven days. It doesn't even have to be forever. It can be seven or 30 days, but it's that one action that helps start moving you in the right direction. And then you can course correct as you go along. So the key today is that we all get stuck in the thinking about it way too much. And what is key is just at the end of the day is taking that one action. So check out the article. It's a quick read and it's really good for this Monday morning. If you're already taking action, awesome. This will help keep you on track on those inevitable bad days. And if you haven't taken action, take action today. You can pick up the phone. You can Facebook message me. You can text me directly. I'll put the number down here below this uh, video. But today is Monday. Take action. Start moving towards your goals. And I hope you have a great day. And if this video helps you, uh, like it, comment, share. And I'm Dave Fan with the Body From Personal Training. Monday day, Monday quick tip the psychology of thinking versus doing. Have a great day.